Hey Crafty Babes, Andrea here. Um, we are going to do a little Saturday in the Life uh, video style. So we're going to be productive today, maybe a little lazy, probably both. <laughs> Uh, but I thought it would be kind of cool to take you along uh, with me throughout the day. Just a typical Saturday where I get to uh, create and clean and we're going to purge some stuff today and um, maybe do some crafting. So I hope that you will come along with me. First thing I usually do is get my hair pinned up and put my bandana on and I just had that stuff downstairs from the previous night and I love to open up all of the blinds and all of the windows downstairs and of course Charlie needs to go out. I think the favorite, my favorite part uh, about the morning is just looking out at our yard and not seeing people <laughs> or other houses. And now I'm making my weekend list. So this is just my weekend task list of things I need to get done either around the house um, or for just business things, creative things. And one of the things we're gonna do today is handle this mess. So my spice rack or my spice cabinet uh, really, really needs some help. I just, everything has always fallen all over the place. And so I bought these um, racks that can go on the door and some jars and labels. So we're gonna tackle that today. And we're also going to clean my desk because it's just kind of been where all of my things have ended up on top of a poster board that I was using for photos. <laughs> so I did not get to my uh, crafty area for crafting at all this week. And we are also going to pack up my first in-house shipment of Retro Hip magazine. Hey, do you do you want to go? Do you do you want to go for do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to go for a walk? Do you do you want to go? Do you want to go? Do you want to go? Are you excited? Charlie and I are out for a walk, not as early as I wanted, but I kind of slept in till like 7.15, which is really late for me. But I've been going to bed super late, so I guess at some point it's gonna catch up to me. So we're out on a little walk, getting out before it gets too hot. It's gonna be almost 100 today, and it's already like 72 and it's eight in the morning. It's all good, getting in the steps and getting her out so that she's not a crazy, crazy canine today.
because we went out for a walk so early, I did not uh, drink any tea before we left, so I am getting all of my caffeine in at the moment. And moving on to just getting my desktop organized. It's just kind of, you know, not as messy as it's been before, but I have printables to put away. I have to figure out which magazine is which, if one's the proof and one is the actual real copy. And so I write it on the tag on the back. Uh, I have an album uh, in progress that needs to be put away, and I have illustrated faith things that need to be um, corralled in one spot. <laughs> and just supplies so that my desk can be clear. I am, I really had intended on crafting this week and <laughs> it did not happen. Oh, and those are some uh, watercolor drawings that uh, my friend Asia did, Two Girl Stuff. You might know her on Instagram. She drew those florals for me for a future shoulder tattoo. So that's exciting. Oh, and I am replacing a few of the, or I'm tearing off a few of the top pages from that desk calendar. It's a Russell and Hazel desk calendar and I use it on my desktop there. It, uh, one of my drinks got a little um, sweaty <laughs> and it uh, needed to be replaced because it was kind of wonky. And then that TN that I showed you is a collaboration with Ally Scraps and she used one of my pattern papers from issue number 12 from the magazine and we made a TN together. We have a clean desk. I just cleared off the poster board that I was using for photos and put a bunch of stuff away. I have a pile here of um, Retro Hit Magazine issue number 13 printables that I need to um, fussy cut and do a project with. Supplies are put away. I've got a couple of piles of different projects that I want to put together. So that is going to get done hopefully sometime today. Oh, and underneath here is Illustrated Faith um, Revival Camp. Uh, hopefully I can work on that a little bit today and I'll probably be editing a video at some point. And I forgot to put on my list that I need to mail this box to a friend and return these old navy shorts. We are now packing and, uh, well, that we're just packing. <laughs> I'm just packing, listening to music and packing up issues of the magazine. Uh, I have a little thank you card that goes inside and I just have them in this clear plastic um, that we are going to definitely be changing the packaging next time. But this was fun. This was fun to finally do this in-house and um, be able to just look at all of the the names that were going out on these and I just love that I get to send these out to everybody who buys one. And then we're gonna, we, you aren't gonna see this, but I am going to uh, label them up at some point and get them out. Next, I am going to apply some false eyelashes I use a brand called Flutter Habit and they have a lot of different styles and I really like the shorties because they feel the most natural when I'm not wearing any makeup. There is quite a learning curve, but I am getting it, I'm getting it down pretty easily. <laughs> this is just me with no makeup and they look pretty good, just like I'm wearing mascara. Uh, so now I am going through the labels that I purchased and adding them to the jars. I love these because they are just a really simple uh, capitalized font in white. So it's going to show up really nicely against all of the different spices. I will link these uh, jars and labels and shelves in the description if you would like them. They will most likely be Amazon affiliate links.
cookies. How are you going to start your morning with cookies? room to put all of the spices in these and I can't fit another one here or we're losing another shelf. Um, I tried to rearrange the shelf so that these would all fit in here because I didn't leave enough. I mean it was just barely enough when the shelf was right here um, and it didn't close well. So I have decided to go check Amazon and see if there is something that will fit um, and do like the the tiered, you know how they kind of sit at a bit of an angle. So they'll sit like that and they won't slide around. Um, I found an adjustable one because this is a pretty narrow uh, drawer. So I used to keep my dish towels and pot holders in there, but now I will just put them in here. And here used to be my cutting boards and I have put the cutting boards in here instead with the baking sheets because I get to them pretty often and so I like to have things that are just easy to access and then more of the Pyrex and baking stuff down there. So once I decide what I decided to buy, I will uh, I will update, but it's Amazon, I should have it in a couple days and I'm looking for something adjustable that doesn't slide around, hopefully has four tiers instead of three because I have three I have four sets of six and I'm also buying a second oops I'm also gonna grab a second set of the jars because we have other things that need to be put into jars and I have a lot of different label options for spices that we do have that I did decide to keep and I am going to hopefully finish this up maybe next weekend but for now I feel good I'm gonna take these shelves down they actually started to split a little bit along the edges so I don't really want that and I will <laughs> end up putting the shelves back where they were um, but they'll be a little bit cleaner in there and it will just be more um, cooking things and not necessarily spices so I'm just having some lunch now this is my first meal of the day and realized we had a package these are um, new snacks that I got from Haiki Foods. I actually think it's Haiki Snacks, um, but I got some mixes. I got biscuit mix, brownie mix, and blueberry pancake mix, which was a bust. Uh, but then my favorite cookies, which are uh, the chocolate brownie cookies. Oh my gosh, they're so good. And these are all like sugar-free, um, low-carb, high-protein. Uh, I am now going to make some bread. So the company that I work for is a baking company and we currently um, make low carb, high fat uh, keto bread uh, mixes. So I am just using the, the recipe and you can see the little label there that has the instructions on it. The bag that I was using just didn't have a label on it, but um, it has really cute packaging and I designed it. So <laughs> I'm just putting all of the ingredients into my bread maker and um, gonna make some bread for Matt. He really loves having a Twin Dragons bread. And here is just the back part of the label that has super easy instructions for using it in a bread machine and using it in the oven, which I had to do for a long time before I had a bread maker. I'm gonna make the brownies now and they really turned out good. They're super nice and fudgy and a good, again, no sugar snack that has a lot of really good sweetness and flavor to it. At this point, I am going to sit because I've been on my feet all day. It's like one o'clock, I think, and this is typically where I spend uh, my time. 
uh, I have my little stations and my uh, two areas where I can sit and I have windows and of course before I do anything I have to make sure that the dog comes in and out a thousand times a day and then because I remembered <laughs> I have to take my vitamins this is typically what I do I just sit with my laptop on my lap uh, searching Netflix for something I think I'm probably gonna watch the office and Charlie is always napping somewhere close by it is I don't have my watch on I just looked like I had my watch on um, it's like 6 15 something I'm showered I have spent the last five hours just sitting on the couch watching off at the office and pretty much enjoyed myself. I think this morning really wore, wore me out. I can't even speak what is wrong with me. I act like this is my first time using a camera. Um, I have been lazy. <laughs> I think that I got worn out this morning from just tasks and projects and things. Um, and I really needed to rest my brain. I've been doing a lot of behind the scenes logistic um, admin work for um, the upcoming issues and changes with membership and things. So I think my brain just needed a bit of a break, which is totally fine. I loved it. Um, so everybody's kind of on their own for dinner. Gibson got home from work and Marshall had a late lunch. So nobody's really hankering for for anything specific and we have a lot of leftover so it's kind of fend for yourself tonight so um, I'm not feeling super good so I think I'm just gonna eat something kind of light and um, get back to uh, work I have a couple of things left on my task list I did not get all of the things done that I wanted to but usually when I make a list like that on Saturday mornings it is kind of for the whole weekend so I give myself a lot of grace and I don't necessarily need to finish everything like in one day so I have um, just a couple extra things I want to try to get done this evening but mostly I'm just gonna sit on the couch and watch Netflix there's a show called The Keepers that I want to watch. It's a documentary about the Catholic Church and it looks fascinating. Um, I also might just watch some older seasons of Queer Eye that I haven't watched. Um, I might also just keep watching The Office. I don't know yet, but um, everybody's kind of doing their own thing for the night and I'm gonna sit on the couch and chill and get some work done and ramp up for this uh, magazine release on the first so uh, my my Saturday in the life turned into pretty much a Saturday morning in the life because I have not done hardly anything since one o'clock it's absolutely fine I have learned when I need to rest and I need to listen and not be so go 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 all the time so I did that today and I rested and it felt good and I needed it I did not get any crafting done, but I'm about to do some creative things and that kind of helps. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming along this Saturday with me and um, I'm not sure when the next time is that I will do something like this because I think part of the exhaustion is the filming. I honestly think that it's so much more work to kind of know that you're sharing your life with other people and setting things up so that um, the shot looks presentable and things like that. I just think it's a lot of extra work I wasn't, you know, I normally don't do. I am much better with pictures, so I think um, this was really fun and I can't wait to share it. I'm glad you guys are here and I will talk to you soon. Bye!